Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have my budget update for how my budget is going. So if you are new, then definitely go and check out my previous videos. I will link them right there um, for my previous uh, budget videos of for the month. Um, now my daughter has actually been sick uh so we basically weren't able to leave our house for the entire week so i live in canada um, i have a four-year-old daughter i'm a single parent my daughter got sick on sunday i talked to her daughter her doctor on monday she didn't go to work she didn't go to school on monday and because of that we had to get a covid test um so i wasn't on Monday, he said, book a COVID test because you took her out of school and she's going to be out of school for a couple days. So you're going to have to get a test. Um, so on, I went online to book it on Monday. I was, I was, the first time slot I was able to get one was for Wednesday. So we had this, so I had the test on Wednesday. We got the test results, test results Friday night to so last night um, and basically we did not leave our house for that entire time now for most of the time she was sick so it wasn't like I was going to go out anyways um, but for most of the week um, I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to leave my house again um, if you test positive you obviously have to quarantine and isolate and so we were stuck in the house um, unable to leave so um, first we'll do numbers and then go over um, some other things as well so um, obviously didn't spend a lot of money uh, because I couldn't leave my house so uh, this is my checking account so I put I put $20 on my laundry so I do have to pay for laundry which is the downside because she was um, throwing up and so I had to do a lot of laundry um, so yay for me but that was why I had put more money on the laundry card uh, then I got my child tax credit so right now in my bank account is 1567 as it stands um, but I haven't paid any of my bills my rent or anything so um, we'll see how it goes um, then I did go out uh, very late last night right before her bed um, because I had to get her some medicine so shoppers is a drug mark here in Canada I live in Canada uh, so I spent 31.09 um, I got some medicine and then <clears throat> some other things and stuff like that so um, I'm sure I spent some food but we're just gonna put all of that towards the other and then food I only spent 17.76 I only need a handful of things for her um, and I just didn't I, I was trying to get in and out as quickly as possible so uh, month to date so far my other category is at 241 my budget of course is at 300 um, and food is at 128 66 um, food is also 300 now I am doing shelf timber so I'm trying to make this as low as possible so um, the goal is to spend $25, which I did. I will be going to Walmart at some point this week. So I will spend just a couple bucks more just to get some salad or some vegetables. It's really the only thing I'm planning to do, like a salad mix or something, because I have very little vegetables. So I'm just going to supplement that. So it'll be a little bit more, but I'm hoping not to spend a lot more um, for the month. Um, now, the one downfall is that my daughter's birthday, sorry, just changing pages. So my daughter's birthday is actually on Friday. I'm gonna have a small gathering with my family um, for her, but I will be buying food for that. So my goal is that I just get some salad, maybe some fro frozen veggies. I'm hoping that I can stretch out the food that I have um, to last me for two weeks and use next week's budget amount to supplement, sorry, to supplement the party. Uh, it won't be a big party. I'm making a lot of things from scratch, so it won't be a lot. 
Um, the other category I know that I will go over. I'm hoping I not go over that much, um, but we will see. So what I wanted to talk about was food plan and making a food plan, especially under these circumstances when you cannot leave your house. Um, there you go. So when you cannot leave your house, you can't go anywhere, um, what are you going to eat? And I definitely had that moment of like, I have no food. I'm never, I can't leave my house. I'm going to have to do Instacart and nothing wrong with Instacart. It's just obviously you do have to pay like a tip and then, you know, it's delivery. So you have to pay like pay extra, which is totally fine. But that's just not, if that's not in your budget, which that normally is not my budget, I would rather not spend the extra money to get things delivered because I'm on a low in, lower low income as it stands. So I had definitely had a moment of like I'm gonna have to spend extra money to get extra to get food because I can't leave my house. This sucks. Um, and then I kind of took a deep breath and I was like, look at what you really have and see what you can really make from the items you have left in your house. Um, so this is more or less everything I have in my house. Now, obviously, I have staples like eggs, um, cheese, milk, bread, um, milk, flour, sugar, like a whole bunch of staples. Um, so this is the main part of what I have. So not a lot of food that is in my house. Tomorrow, I'm going to make a whole chicken. So I have a whole chicken in my in my freezer. Um, and I'm going to make that. I have some carrots, so I'll make some carrots with that. Then on Monday, I'm going to make a chicken pot pie using the, the, the chip, a lot of the chicken meat from the chicken that I'm making the night before. Um, I have frozen peas and corn, and I, again, I have carrots in the fridge as well. I have hamburgers that I'm going to use. You now, when I go to Walmart, I'm going, I'm either going... I'm going to try and see if I can get some potatoes or just some, you know, cheap fries or just something that I can make with a side with this. Um, but I do have burgers that I made. I have a lot of pasta. I have some pasta already in the fridge and then I also have more pasta. Um, I somehow ended up with like a lot of pasta. So I have to, I definitely am going to have a day where I make pasta. Um, I have bacon that I definitely have to use. So I'm going to make some kind of BLT or just a salad with some bacon and something like that. And I also have some shrimps to use, so I'm going to find something to make that. So I'm probably going to do a salad. And then again, I also have more hamburgers as well. So that is more or less my meal plan. So the way I do my meal plan, personally, I do intermittent fasting. So um, I don't eat in the morning and I don't eat late at night. Um, so, and it is just me. So it's me and my daughter. My daughter is a very picky eater, um, and doesn't eat a lot. She's not a big food person. So, um, basically the way I do my meal plan, which is how, what I find works for me is that I will plan for one meal in the day. Um, I make one big meal, um, which is my most substantial meal. And then I will have little meals, little snacks. I have a lot of little snacks and stuff that I eat throughout the day and um, at, or leftovers because I always have leftovers. You think of chicken pot pie, there's a lot of leftovers. So I always have food in my fridge from leftovers to make one recipe because it is just me. It'll last me for so long. So um, I that's why I only plan for one meal. I was... When I was planning for two meals or even and even three meals a day, um, I just would find that I would have a lot of food that I'm throwing out and I'm really trying very hard not to throw food out. So it was very a conscious decision to not waste my food. So I find that by doing this and only planning to make one meal a day, I have leftovers that I can supplement. So like I'll have, yes, I'll have pasta, but then if I'm going to eat a second, so eating a second meal that day, I'll either have eggs that day or I'll have chicken pot pie because I have, I will have extra chicken pot pie is an example. So when you eat, don't think that you have any food in your house, look at what you really have, 
write it down. I have peppers, which I didn't even account for, so I can still make um, something called I that I call Korean stir fry. So I have a bunch of ground chicken, so I can brown that up with the peppers and make like a stir fry with it. I can put it with some rice or some probably some pasta because I have lots of pasta in my house. Um, I make that a meal. I also have eggs, so I always can. I've been eating a few. I've been eating eggs lately, um, so I can also have that so I have more food than I think I do I also can make a lot of things from scratch like buns I did not have buns when I made the hamburgers I made the hamburgers the other day um, and I hadn't bought buns um, I don't know why I just didn't buy them when I went shopping so I made them from scratch so there are very easy recipes you can find so when you think that you don't have food and you can't leave the house before you go and spend more money on food and spend extra money in order to get things delivered look at what you really have and really try and use the stuff that's in there before you spend extra money so I really think that I will be able to not spend a lot of extra money throughout this month um, and see how it goes um, I'm not sure what I'm doing for the party yet have not figured that out I have no plan but I will have a plan um, my daughter's starting to feel better so hopefully she can go to school in the next few days um, I'm hoping she can go to school by Monday um, if not Tuesday so fingers crossed hopefully that happens you know get her back to a routine um, and I'll be able to go out and find more deals. I do think it has been helping to go places, to be able to go places without my daughter um, and go other places that I wouldn't normally go um, in order to find better deals like Walmart. Walmart does have great deals for, for, for a lot of food that she likes. So it has been actually really helping being able to do that and being able to diversify where I buy food so that I can get the best deal possible. Um, and I think that's very important. So if you typically buy in the same grocery store and only one grocery store, um, just try going to a different one. Try going to a different place like Walmart that has food and other things and just kind of see what they have and see if you can get better deals by shopping around. You can get better deals and uh, save a bit of money, which is always important. Thank you very much for watching. Definitely like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. Definitely comment below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I would be more than willing to help. And I hope you guys have a lovely and fantastic day.